Hey everyone, I'm Harry Collins, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about a new product I've been using for the last couple of months. It's the Pro Media Gear uh, GK Junior Katana Gimbal Head and the 42 Series Tripod Legs. Over the last few months, I had the opportunity to test this tripod out in many different locations around the world, all of which had uh, very varying differences as far as environmental conditions go. My first trip with this tripod was actually to uh, the Maasai Mara in Africa. And it was nice to have a tripod uh, on this trip. Um, you know, even though the vehicles have side rails and you can lean on them, um, I do a lot of video. I do a lot more video work these days than I do photography. So, you know, having a tripod is, is pretty crucial. And uh, it was great. Um, the, the best thing about this setup is it's more than two pounds, almost three pounds lighter than my uh, Gitzo and uh, Wimberley head. And three pounds may not sound like a lot, but when you're traveling, especially internationally, uh, you need every pound that you can get. Initially, when going on this trip, I wasn't planning to bring a tripod, but uh, I couldn't be happier that I did because I was able to get rock solid footage, uh, even from a, you know shooting from a vehicle the whole time, uh, partially which was moving at times as well. Uh, so again, super happy with the way that this footage turned out and glad I made the decision to bring the tripod. For my next trip with the tripod, I was off to Florida. Uh, Florida is vastly different than what Africa is. In Africa, you're sitting in a vehicle all day, you know, you're shooting from the vehicle. Florida, uh, for the most part, um, is these wide open, vast wetlands where most of which you're walking through them. It's very easy to rack up five miles or more in a day. And uh, this is where the three pound difference uh, in weight really came in handy. Uh, my shoulder was thanking me for having a lighter tripod for once. Many of the mornings during my trip uh, were spent in this blind, both uh, filming and photographing a Beldic Kingfisher. Um, we literally were sitting in the pond. And so anytime I'm sitting in a body of water with a tripod for an extended time, I always get nervous because you always get mud and sand or whatever, you know, in the leg connectors. And that can be as frustrating as anything. But, uh, I, you know, I was pleasantly surprised for the most part. It kept most of the mud and dirt and sand out of there. Um, while I did clean it when I got back, uh, there, I was, again, I was pretty surprised. Usually um, in the past with my Gitzo, they pretty much collect sand all day and you just hear that grinding noise. I can't stand that. So um, I didn't have too much of that. So that was a plus. One thing about this tripod that I really love is there's a lot more play with how much resistance uh, you can dial in in both the pan and tilt knobs. And uh, this allowed me to really get some smooth movements uh, when I was photographing the kingfisher diving as they dive so quickly. Um, and speaking of that, my, my next uh, adventure was over to photograph these osprey fishing as well, which again are another fast moving bird. And uh, having just that perfect amount of resistance where the camera doesn't fight you, but it, it keeps you steady. If the, if the gimbal is too loose, you tend to overshoot a lot. Or, you know, if you're filming, you get a lot of violent jerky movements. Um, you know, with a nice and perfect amount of resistance, it's not jerky and it, it just keeps you smooth. And finally, I made a few visits uh, to a spot in the Northeast US where I've been photographing and filming peregrine falcons for many years. Uh, one of the days it was uh, a nasty cold uh, winter day in, you know, the Northeast US typical day here. Uh, it was rainy, icy, foggy and everything else. Um, and again, no issues with the tripod at all, no rusting, you know, I did wipe it down, but um, so far so good. Everything, you know, performed incredibly well despite very cold temperatures, uh, wet conditions. And, uh, you know, in all honesty, I don't recommend any products that I don't fully believe in or use myself. And uh, this is, you know, gonna be my go-to tripod from now on. I absolutely love it. I love the company. I'm looking forward to purchasing a few more items from them as well. So. Uh, if you're interested in this tripod, the links will be down uh, in the description. And uh, I promise you won't regret getting one of these. Uh, they're absolutely awesome. <laughs>